Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24-7 customer support. Don't miss KeysFan Mega Discount if you are interested. You can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows series with RTG50 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome back again. So finally, the WinLighter 4.0 version got released. A new update, simply you can get from this GitHub page. Installation process is same as the previous video I shown recently. Check out the carts or in description. Here in this update, they improved input controls, also implemented direct input X input for most of Android game pads. Of course, some performance improvements and bug fixes in this new update. Simply open when later, select input controls. You can import different sorts of profiles or custom. Like here, you can also download various profiles files of games controls. Simply select the controls and select OK. The selected files get downloaded. Here choose profile of various game controllers based on you want. Simply I will create a container system and run. So here you can set input controls. Choose the type of virtual controller you want for the game you play. You can also enable keyboard input as we already know it and the task manager where you can manage apps running in system background. Okay, anyways, these are the improvements in this version. Some people asking about like, does it run apps, software and stuff? Well, yes, if it runs Windows games, why can't be with apps? But, but wait, not with all app software. Some of them may run, but not all. Some get crashed, works slow, even slows down system as it's based on emulation, not efficient. Not even a genuine native version. I would say it lacks. Anyways, here I'm testing some apps like, you know, VLC Media Player. It works pretty well. I even tried to install Google Chrome, but I shows some error. Some developer apps like Visual Studio Code, but crashed. This one, Notepad++, works well as usual. Of course, some things go Anna work, but not all of them, as it's specially designed for PC games emulation but it might be different on Mobox emulator because it's fast as efficient compared to this. Well, the Firefox browser works too, but kind of very laggy, slow page loads. One more thing I need to add, you can also set processor affinity for background app to improve performance by applying some CPU cores. So anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. So please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out links in description. Thank you, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.